Now let's talk about IPv4 unicast, broadcast, and multicast addresses. So addresses for end user devices. There are basically two ways uh, to assign an IP address to a to an end device. One is a static uh, way of assigning an IP address. The other is dynamic way. So assigning a static IPv4 address to a host, the reasons why do you want to assign a static IPv4 address to a machine, although it's, uh, it's a cumbersome task, especially when you have hundreds of machines in a, in a network, in a lab, and you, you have to assign those IP addresses manually, statically on each machine. So, but there are circumstances when you are basically, you know, uh, assign uh, the IP address in a static way. And this is uh, for, uh, for printers, servers, and other networking devices that normally do not change location often. And they basically need to be accessible to the clients on the networks based on a fixed IP address. So machines which have a static IP address, a public IP address, they are basically assigned a static IP address. And as I said earlier, it's basically a time consuming and laborious task to assign IP addresses to machines and devices, especially when the network is very big. Destination unicast, broadcast and multicast addresses. Normally all the source addresses are unicast addresses. Source address can never be a broadcast address or it can never be a multicast address. It has to be a unicast address. So uh, what, what do I mean by a unicast address? Basically, uh, we say a unicast address because the packet is sent from one source to one destination. And a multicast address is such an address in which the packet is sent from one source to a group of machines or group of you know addresses. Well, all those machines have one multicast address, same multicast address. So it's going to be you know one uh, sender is basically sending packets to a group of machines. And then the third part type of address is a broadcast address. And that is uh, one sender, one machine is basically, you know, sending packets to all the machines in the network, in the same network. So this is called a broadcast address. Okay, so now let's look into an example of a unicast address. So this is a typical a trans unicast transmission where you have a source address, which is 172.16.4.1. And uh, you can see a box, you know, over that, over the machine uh, telling you the source address. And then the destination is basically 172.16.4.253. So this is a typical unicast address. One sender is sending data to one receiver. And then you have a multicast address example where one sender is basically, you know, uh, sending the data to multiple uh, or, or a group of machines. And all those machines have same multicast address so like you know uh, as you can see on the uh, on the slide uh, 224.10.10.5 uh, dot, uh, is a multicast address and all the machines they are going to receive this uh, this multicast uh, communication because they have the same multicast address how does it basically happen normally the you know the the clients uh, they basically subscribe uh, to the multicast group and then they listen for the packets which are destined for that particular multicast address. And now this is an example of a broadcast address. So this, this one sender is going to send a packet to all the hosts in the network. And then the address is a typical uh, 255 or 255. All ones basically is the broadcast address. And as you can see, all the machines are going to receive this uh, address except for the one on the top. Where, where there is a cross on the, on, on the machine because first of all, it's, it's not a machine, it's a switch. And this is, you know, another advantage of having a, a router because it limits the broadcast domain. So there are two types of uh, broadcast. One is directed broadcast, and that is sent to all the hosts on a specific network. 
so an example is basically you know the network part dot 255 all ones in the host part so that's going to send the packets to all the hosts on a particular network and then we, uh, there is this another broadcast type which is called limited broadcast and which basically is uh, you know sending the packets to host on the local network and these packets basically have you know a destination address 255.255.255.255 so we talked about uh, different types of uh, ip addresses like unicast addresses um, multicast addresses and broadcast addresses in today's topic